Well, we're back and guess what? It started raining. So you know what we do when it's raining? Uh -oh. We sing rainy day songs. Now what's a good rainy day song? Hmm, you know, who was, there was a man in the Bible, what was his name, Auntie Suze, who had a whole lot of rain, so much that he had to build a boat. I think his name was Noah. That's right, oh, his name was Noah. And Noah, well, he had to build an ark because it rained so long. Can you, do you remember how long it rained for? 40 days and 40 nights. 40 days and 40 nights. Well, let's sing Rise and Shine and give God the glory when it's raining. Ready? One, two, three. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah there's going to be a floody, floody. Lord told Noah there's going to be a floody, floody. Get those animals out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. So, Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies of us drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. So, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The sun came out and, and dried up the landy landy sun came out and dried up the landy landy everything was fine and dandy dandy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory glory rise and shine and give God the glory glory rise and shine and give God the glory glory children of the Lord. Beautiful singing everybody. I could see your actions from here. And well, Mr. Jacob, that was impressive. Very, very good, Mr. Daniel, too. I think everyone did such a good job that we should sing another rainy day song. What do you think? I yes. think so. Well, you know, some people get grumpy in the rain and some people are only happy when the sun is shining. And that's just so terrible because, well, the Bible says that we should be happy because we have got so much to be happy for. And so let's sing a happy day song. Ready? One, two, three. It's a happy day, and I praise God for the weather. It's a happy day, because I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy day, and it's still going to get better. Living each day by the promises in God's Word. Now show me your grumpy faces, everybody. We don't want to have grumpy faces. Let's sing it's a grumpy day. Ready? One, two, three. It's a grumpy day. And I don't, I don't like the weather. It's a grumpy day because I'm living it for myself. It's a grumpy day. Yes, it is. And it's, it's not going to get better. Living each day with the Bible on the shelf. Woo! Come on, let's make it a happy day. Show me your smiling faces. Hey, Jacob, come, come on, smiley. Cheese! That's better. I'm ready? Happy day. One, two, three. It's a happy day, and I praise God for the weather. It's a happy day, because I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy day, and it's still going to get better. Living each day by the promises in God's Word. That's much better. I like praising God in the rain, and in all kinds of weather. You know, there's a song that's called Showers of Blessing. I don't know if all of you know it, but we'll sing it. And when we sing Showers of Blessing, I want to see your nice little raindrops. Can you show me some nice little raindrops yeah. with your fingers? Fantastic. Ready? One, two, three. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Get ready. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. Very good. We've got another song that Auntie Suze was thinking. What song was that one? I've got the joy. 
because oh, I'm just so happy. I like it. It's raining. And where, where do we have the joy? Do we have it right here in our heads? No. Yeah? No? Oh, oh, I know. We have it in our feet. No. <laughs> oh, Auntie uh, Dash. Where do we have the joy? In our hearts. In our hearts. That's right. It's down, down, down in the depths of our hearts. Ready? One, two, three. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart today. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace that passeth understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the peace that passeth understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Oh, that's wonderful singing. I hope you've got your joy faces on. Could we do the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer right down oh, in the depths of my heart? Oh, do you, are you up for that? Annie Sears, can you say that one once more? I've got the wonderful love of my blessed wow. Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Oh, Let's try it. Ready? Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer right down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down, down, down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down, down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I found the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Very good. Well, you know, I don't think that we can sing a rainy day song without singing with Christ in my vessel. I can smile at the storm. And what do we do while we smile at the storm? We go sailing. Show me your sailing boats. Sailing, sailing, sailing home. Sailing Ready? Home. One, sailing. two, three. With Christ in, in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm, smile at the storm. With Christ in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home, sailing boats. Sailing, sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. With Christ in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Very good, everybody. Well, I think it's almost stopped raining. I think that we must have sung all the rain away. What do you think, Annie Sue? I think we did. That I was a great job. I think that the rain just, well, maybe God was listening to us and so we <laughs> stopped the rain so we can keep on doing some singing. Now, should we pick a song with words that we can read? Or we yeah, that would be wonderful. But I don't know how they'll read them. That's not gonna work? Okay. Sorry, <laughs> let's do another one. Do you know what? I feel like doing an action song. I wanna stand up and stretch, stretch. my arms. Oh, do you guys wanna stretch? That. All right, stand up. Let's sing Wide yeah. Wide as the Ocean. Oh, I like love this one. Okay, ready? Except that I can't stand. We have to sit. Oh, <laughs> we're too tall. Okay, ready? We're going to sing Wide Wide as the Ocean. Two. And I want to see those big arms really nice and wide. Yeah. Don't knock each other in the head, brothers and sisters. Mm. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Wide Wide as the Ocean, high as the heavens above. Deep, deep as the deepest sea is my Saviour's love. I, though so unworthy, still am a child of His care. For His Word teaches me that His love reaches me everywhere. You know, I think we should do one more action song, but you're going to need to get ready for this one because this one is a difficult one. Let's sing Rolled Away, Rolled Away. Ready? One, two, three. Rolled Away, Rolled Away, Rolled Away. Every burden of my heart rolled away. I just rolled away, rolled away, rolled away. Every burden. Every sin had to go. Me 
Save the crimson flow. Hallelujah. Rolled away, rolled away, rolled away. Every burden on my heart rolled away. Can we go a little bit faster than that, do you think? Yeah. Yes, come on. Ready? One, two, three. Rolled away, rolled away, rolled away. Every burden on my heart rolled away. Rolled away. Every sin had to go, need the crimson flow, hallelujah, rolled away, rolled away, rolled away, every burden of my heart rolled away. Now ready, everybody, let's crank our engines up. Put away, put away, put away, every heart rolled away, put away, put away, put away, <laughs> you know another rolling song? We remember Jesus took my burden and rolled it in the sea. Yeah. Let's do that one. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus took my burden and rolled it in the sea. Rolled it in the sea. Rolled it in the sea. Jesus took my burden and rolled it in the sea. Never to remember anymore. Now I'm happy. Now I am happy, happy, happy as can be. Happy, happy as can be. Happy, happy as can be. Now I am happy, happy, happy as can be. Never to remember anymore. Sing it again, nice and loud. Now I'm my burden and rolled it in the sea. Rolled it in the sea. Rolled it in the sea. Jesus took my burden and rolled it in the sea. Never to remember anymore. Now I am happy, happy as can be, happy as can be, happy, happy as can be. Now I am happy, happy as can be, never to remember anymore. That was a new one for me, Auntie Tash. That was fun. That was a good fun song. Well, you're all going to have to tell us what songs you want to do for next week. And we'll have to learn them all, and we'll have them all ready. And you've got to have your nice big singing voices on. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Sam again for Mr. G. And next to me, I have Eleanor. Eleanor, you want to say hello? Hello. Hi. Louder. Hi. Louder. Hi. Louder. Hi. No. <laughs> okay, that's Eleanor saying hello. Yeah. We're going to start off today with a song. It's called Verily, Verily. This is Eleanor's favourite song that she chose. Okay. What I'm going to do, by the way, so you get started, is that if you mummies out there would like your child to come over here and be a, do a lesson with me, you've got to let me know, okay? So Eleanor's the first one. We're going to have someone different next week than the following week and go through everybody in class, okay? Here's a song. Now, Eleanor, pick this song. Didn't you pick this song? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you ready? It's called Verily, Verily. Oh, what a saviour that he died for me. You want to stand over there or something so you can see it? Can you see like that? Yeah. That's better? Yeah. Okay, let's go again. Oh, what a saviour that he died for me. From condemnation he hath made me free. He that believeth on the Son, said he, hath everlasting life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, verily, verily, message ever new. He that believeth on the Son, tis true, hath everlasting life. Is there another verse of this one? I think so. You think so? Okay. Ooh, here we go. All my iniquities on him were laid, all my indebtedness by him was paid. All who believe on him, the Lord hath said, hath everlasting life. Okay. Verily, verily, I say unto you, verily, verily, message ever new. He that believeth on the Son, tis true, hath everlasting life. Is there another verse? Is there one more? I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh, there is. Look at this one. Though poor and needy, I can trust my Lord. Though weak and sinful, I believe his word. O joyful message, every child of God 
hath everlasting life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, verily, verily, message ever new, he that believeth on the Son, tis true, hath everlasting life. Very good, very good, very good. Now we always start with a roll call, don't we? Should we have a roll call today? Okay, uh, who, who's in the class? Who's in the class? Eleanor. Eleanor, you here, Eleanor? Yes. Yes, you're here. Next one? Uh, Lydia? Yeah. Okay, Lydia, you out there? Yes, she's out there. Next one? Jacob. Jacob! Oh, you like Jacob, don't you, huh? Yeah. You like Jacob, okay. And who, what's his sister's name? Sound like Clarissa. Clarissa. Clarissa, yeah. And who else is there? Noah. There's Noah, good girl. And, and, and... And John. John. And who's your best friend? Bella. Bella. And there's Angie. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, everyone out there? Good. Now, we're going to have our quiz. This quiz is very important because without a quiz, you can't get any points. Now, we sang a song last week. You want to sing the song again? Yeah. Shamgar had an ox goat. David had a sling. Dorcas had a needle, Rahab had some string, Samson had a jawbone, Moses had a rod, Mary had some ointment, but they all were used of God. All right, the question today is, what did Shamgar have? A goat. Ox goat, correct, correct. Second question, David had what? Sling. A sling, boy, two out of two already. A sling, okay. Third question. Dorcas had what? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like mmm. Look at this. Needle. needle. Very, very good. So Dorcas had a needle. Rahab had some? String. String. Good. Samson had a? Okay. Jawbone. And Moses had a rod. rod. Mary had some? Ointment. Ointment. Very good. That's the seven questions. So if you said, Shamgo had the osco, David had the sling, Dogs had a needle, Rahab had the string, Samson had a jawbone, Moses had a rod, Mary had the ointment, seven out of seven. Now, we're going to do something different today. I want you to listen very close to the lesson because after the lesson, I'm going to give you a quiz instead of next week. One person said, if we can have the quiz straight away, it's better than have it next week where we forget. So after lesson today, we're going to have our quiz from this lesson, all right? So let me know what you've got in your scores today, mummies and daddies, for your little children, and I'll record them in my book, and then you'll find out how many points you get. Yeah. Okay, now, Eleanor's going to help you with the lesson today. Eleanor, yeah. I want you to help me with the lesson, all right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to give a story about a little boy named Samson. Hold on, not Samson, it's Samuel. Mm. Do you know about Samuel? Yes. You do? Okay. Maybe you can tell the story. No. No? Okay. What was his mummy's name? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, his mummy's name was Hannah. Now, remember, the little boy's name was? Samuel. Samuel. His mummy's name was? Hannah. Hannah, good. They're going to come out later on the questions, so get that in mind. All right, in this story, we have Hannah and her husband, Elkanah, were very happily married, but Hannah was sad. You know why she was sad? Yeah. What? You know why? Yeah. Why? She had no children. Boy, who told you? Who told you that she had no children? Boy, you're smart. I You're read right. the beginner's Bible. <laughs> you read the Bible, is that why? Yeah. Boy, isn't that smart, huh? I so you don't have to wait to come to Sunday school to hear the Bible stories. You can read them for yourself. Yeah. Good girl. You got the beginner's Bible, do you? Yeah, you, I think you gave it to us. Well, so if someone out there wants a beginner's Bible, how do they get one? Can they come and see you do it? Come yeah. and see Pastor Sam? Yeah. Done. If you haven't got a beginner's Bible... Ooh, shame. You need to come and see me. I'll let your mum and daddy come and see me. 
All right. Now, what happened? She had no children and she was sad. Yeah. <laughs> Very sad. So she went to the temple one day and prayed with all her heart and said, God, if you give me a little boy as a baby, I promise you I'll give him back to you. <laughs> That'd be a hard promise to make. Because what happened, God heard that prayer and God gave her a little baby boy. And she cared for the baby boy. She fed him and took care of him and cleaned him and clothed him till he could start to walk and start to talk and he started to feed himself and start to do things. As a little boy, she then went to the temple and told the priest over there, the high priest named Eli, he said, Sir, I'm the woman that came here before and prayed for a little boy and I promised God if you gave me a little boy, I'll give him back to you. Guess what she did? Guess what she did? She gave him back. She gave him back, exactly. She gave him to the priest. She said, here, this little boy is now yours to be your servant in the temple. I guarantee you that would have broken her heart, would have hurt her very, very much, and also little Samuel. You would have been very, very, very unhappy. Mummy's leaving me here and going away. But she said very plainly, I prayed for you to be God's servant for all your life. You're going to be a Nazarite. You won't cut your hair. Your, his hair will be longer than your hair, longer than your hair. So and I don't know how he, he understood that, but we do know this. He went and he stayed with Eli the high priest and he served him. Now, that gift that Hannah gave God was a wonderful gift. But you know what God did? He blessed her gift and he gave her another Three boys and two girls for children. So she gave God the one son she had and he gave her, her another three boys and two children. Every year she'd go and see Samuel and she'd bring him some clothes and show him his brothers and sisters. And she'd say, she'd say to them, look, this is your big brother. He serves the Lord. He's in the temple. Wow. They think, our big brother serves the Lord. Our big brother in the temple. Wow. And she was so happy because she was proud of Samuel serving God and proud that God made her a mummy for another five children. So when you give something to God, he really, really blesses what we give him. Now, how about Samuel? How about him? Well, we know he served God. Yeah. And after he's growing, everyone liked him. The Bible said he had faith with God and people liked him too. You know why? He was honest. He obeyed. He did what he was told. He served faithfully. People liked him. You know, when, when someone lies and, and hits and hurts, people don't like those people. But if you're nice and kind and helpful and obey God, everyone likes you. Yeah. That's why we like you. <laughs> God bless you. Now... The problem is, he didn't know God. He knew about God, he heard him, but he never met God before. And one night, as God saw his heart was ready, he called the night, Samuel, Samuel. He woke up thinking, oh, Eli's calling me. He went over, Eli said, I'm here. He said, where well, are you on here? Well, you called me. He said, I never called you, go back to sleep. So I thought, oh, I'm sure he called me. So he went back to bed again. Then God called out again, Samuel, Samuel. He ran to Eli again. Eli, you called me again. He said, I never called you. Go back and sleep. All right. Went back to sleep. I'm sure someone called me. He's sleeping again. Samuel, Samuel. Eli, you did call me. Eli thought, ah, it's God speaking to him now. So what happened? He said, now, he, he, Samuel, when you hear the voice again, say, speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So he went back and laid back. I don't know if he fell asleep this time. He lay in his bed and next, next thing, Samuel, Samuel, speak, for thy servant heareth. And God spoke to him. He met God for the very, very first time. He gave his heart to God completely. And from then on in, 
He was serving God and God made him a great, great, great prophet. And through him, miracles were done. And through him, Israel had victory over the Philistines. One time, the Philistines were coming and he was simply praying with the people, having a sacrifice, and they weren't preparing for war to fight or anything, but the Philistines were coming. And so he prayed to God and God called thundering and great hailstones fell down on the Philistines and it was killing them and they ran away. And the Israelites followed them and destroyed them completely. God gave them great victory because Samuel loved God and Samuel served God. Now, Samuel gave God his life. And what God did for him, he gave him eternal life. He made him a prophet and he became a great, great, great famous man in all Israel like a judge. What we give to God is nothing compared to what God does for us with the gifts that we give him. All right, quiz time. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see how well your memory is. Everyone out over there, this is your quiz time, okay? Not for next week. It's now to the Taylor quiz. First one. What was the little boy's name? I'll give you three chances. It was Peter, Paul, or Samuel. Which one was it? Samuel. Samuel, that's the name. That's the name. One out of one. Okay. Second one. What was his mummy's name? Was it Isabella? No. Was it Clarissa? No. Was it Hannah? Hannah. Hannah, yes. Two out of two. Two out of two. All right. Hannah promised God, if you give me a son, then I promise to be good. Or I'll go to church every week. Or I'll give him back to you. What do you think the answer is? I'll give him back to you. Very good. I'll give him back to you. Okay. Fourth question. God blessed Hannah and gave her a donkey? No. Ooh. A camel? No. More children? Yes. Yes. More children. Good. That's four out of four so far. Yeah. You're clever. Number five. God revealed himself to Samuel by, by his, because he spoke to him by telephone? No. Through a friend? No. By his word? By his word. Correct. By his word. That's five out of five. Next one. Samuel became a great singer. No. Great piano player. No. A great prophet. Yes. Yes, a great prophet. Last I'm glad you're listening. I'm glad you're listening. Last one. When we give something to God, God gives it away, God ignores it, or God blesses it. God blesses it. Amen. God blesses it. Well, that's your seven answers today. What was, uh, what was the boy's name? Samuel. What was his mummy's mommy, name? Hannah. Hannah promised God to give him back to God, God again if he gave him a son. God blessed Hannah and gave her more children. God revealed himself to Samuel by his word. Samuel became a great prophet. And anything we give to God, he blesses us out of sight. Isn't that lovely story, huh? Mm. A lovely story. That story was about, um, what's it about again? Lesson on giving. Whatever we give God, he blesses it and makes us much, much, much happier through it. So never, ever, ever hold back from giving God. And the first thing we should go give God, the very first thing is what? You know what it is? There's something along the here. Your heart. Good. The first thing we give God is our heart. We trust in Christ as Saviour, ask Him to forgive us of our sins, and we want to become His children and walk with Him and follow Him and obey Him. So it's important. Give God our heart first and obey His word. So Eleanor mentioned before, there's the Beginner's Bible. It's good to read it so you understand more and more about the Bible. So as I give you these stories on Sunday, you'll know them already. And you get seven out of seven in the quiz. All right? Well, God bless you. Thank you, Eleanor. You want to say a prayer before we finish? Thank you. You pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you that we got to do Sunday school together, me and Zed Do. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless. Bye-bye.